Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of What The Flop. In this week's episode I'll be talking about the longly awaited Avatar The Way of Water. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. I have to lie on those big rocks. But I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. Jake Sully lives with his newfound family formed on the extrasolar moon Pandora. Once a familiar threat returns to finish what was previously started, Jake must work with Nytiri to protect their family and move in with a new tribe and learn to adapt to their ways for the sake of the family's life. The director of this film, James Cameron, has shown us throughout the years how good of a director and filmmaker he is with films such as The Titanic and The Terminator. And to be quite frank with you, this film was such a visually pleasing uh, film and James Cameron always takes his times with films but he always delivers the utmost best out of his work. Now what makes the sequel so much more different than the first Avatar is that in this movie the focus is more on the family and the newborns that Jake Sully and Nytiri uh, brought to life and we could just feel that emotional bond that they have between the family, the message of family, trust, loyalty and sacrifice and we can also see new characters coming back from the first series just like the general Stephen Lang. But what caught my eye the most in this film is the beauty of how James Cameron directs his film. In this film, uh, James Cameron took an approach to let his uh, characters live in the natural habitat that the Avatar tribe is living in. So these actors had to shoot several minutes underwater and they had to hold their breath for several minutes. But the most impressive um, actress that really showed a difference uh, in these scenes was Kate Winslet, which previously worked with James Cameron on the Titanic, but, but has never uh, had an approach like this. But she had broke uh, Tom Cruise's previous record of six minutes and a half with a whopping record of seven minutes and 14 seconds. However, when it comes to the plot in this film, James Cameron is definitely trying to send a message to the people to take care of their natural habitat, to, to take care of their waters, to take care of the forest. And this film definitely sheds a lot of light on that. And I'm pretty sure more films of Avatar to come is definitely going to shed light on some of that. Now, the story of the film is not really a unique story that James Cameron has come upon with. It's definitely a setting where, it's definitely a story where we've seen it at a different setting, but the difference in this film was the way that the characters really reacted um, with the story. We could really feel a, a good character development with, between the family, between the two brothers, between uh, the father and his son. And this film really did touch a lot of emotional aspects when it came to the audience. And towards the last hour of this film, it was definitely a roller coaster of a ride um, and it would keep you on the edge of your seat. So James Cameron definitely knows how to work on the emotional sides of audience and I did really enjoy uh, most of the film. Now the film was a three hour and a quarter so it might not be everybody's uh, cup of tea but it's definitely a film that you must go and watch in theaters and I would highly say that if you would watch this in 3D it would definitely bump up your experience so James Cameron definitely did a great job uh, creating this new wave or a new era of technology to create uh, films in this matter and I would honestly love to rate this film five popcorns now at that note I want to wish you all a happy holiday and I'll see you guys next week